Opening up our top three around 21 is Marlon Freitas of Atletico Goianiense. The defensive midfielder showed us his super skills when he nailed this rocket into Clayton's top corner. It took a long while, but they finally opened the scoring. Check this out, Hato to Marlon Freitas and the number eight just blasts this one in. Mikey comes in at number two. The right back scored the opener for Palmeiras against Goyaz after a stunning team move. Dudu did the dirty work and Mikey applied the perfect finish. What a goal. Down that left hand side opens up the plate. Here's Mikey who fires. Spectacular firecracker. Goal! For Palmeiras! Mikey, the Palmeiras number 12, nails an absolute rocket. But our winner this round just had to be from Victor Hockey. The 17-year-old talent brushed off the defender and then hit this screamer. Just look at the curl on this. No chance for Everson. Scoring against his former rival and humiliating Nathan Silva and beating Everson. What a masterpiece. What a goal of the golden boy, Victor Hockey, 1-1. Volta couldn't prevent his side from defeat against Fluminense in the Maracanã, but he certainly kept the score down. In this effort from Chris Silva, the keeper just got his fingertips onto the ball to make sure it stayed out. An amazing save to give Volta the award in this round. The Colombian, Speedy Mendoza, scored the equaliser against Botafogo and also gave us a demonstration of all his skills in the Nilton Santos. Mendoza faced Saravia and went past him with this embarrassing nutmeg before producing a goal scoring opportunity. Simply magic from Steven Mendoza. It's that time when we take a look at the players and the manager who impressed us in the round. In goal we've gone for Santos of Flamengo. At right back, Mikey from Palmeiras. The two centre backs are Nino of Fluminense and Igor Habello of Atlético Mineiro. At left back, Ayrta Lucas of Flamengo. In midfield, Marlon Freitas, Atlético Goianiense. Lucas Crispin, Fortaleza, and Paolo Henrique Ganso of Fluminense. On the right wing, Pedrinho from America. On the left, Victor Hockey, Atletico Paranaense. Our lone striker is Cano of Fluminense. For leading his side to a fabulous win, Juan Pablo Voivoda from Fortaleza is the man on the bench. Victor Hockey led the Hurricanes to an important win against Gallo. First, he scored this absolute masterpiece. A piece of art in the Mineiro Stadium. Then he showed incredible positioning for his second. For his performance, Victor Hockey also takes the award for the best player in round 21. A bright future for one of Brazil's most promising players. Twenty-one games in, Palmeiras top the table and are now six points ahead of second place Corinthians. Fluminense and Atletico Paranaense are in hot pursuit. Flamengo and Internacional are in fifth and sixth respectively. Defending the champions Atletico Mineiro are in seventh place. The wrong half of the table remains very compact. Just five points separate São Paulo who are in eleventh and Fortaleza who are in the drop zone. The three other sides in real trouble right now are Cuiapa, Atletico, Goianiense and Juventude.
Round 22 of the Brazilian Rao Asai starts on Saturday when Goiás and Avaiga go head to head. Then, Corinthians and Palmeiras meet in the explosive Paulista derby at the Neo Chemica Arena. Also on Saturday, Cuiabá, Juventude and Botafogo against Atletico Goianiense. The action begins early on Sunday morning with Curitiba against defending champions Atletico Mineiro. In the afternoon, we've got Flamengo Atletico Paranaense, São Paulo Red Bull, the Sierra Fortaleza Derby, and America against Santos. The round comes to an end when Internacional and Fluminense cross swords for the early evening kickoff. That's it for another week. We hope you're enjoying our coverage of the toughest and most exciting league in the Americas. And we will be back in the next round with more action from the Brazilian Rao Açaí.